morning class today we're going to be looking at the transform function that will give me the opportunity to be able to physically move rotate um, or just manipulate the orientation of a particular sketch element inside of a sketch environment so i just created a rectangle put some construction lines across from corner to corner and i've created this inscribed triangle here well this is really where the transform function lives it's underneath the pattern command and it's here at the bottom and so it adds this manipulator that helps us to be able to physically change the orientation or location. So first I'm gonna select what it is I want to be able to move or manipulate. Then I'm gonna go back up here and click on transform. And this manipulator comes alive. Now, when I click on this box, it really grabs the whole thing and I can physically freeform move it wherever I want. And now it's showing that it would be there as the revised location. So let's say we wanted it to go over here. You can see it's kind of snapping from this circular point. That is really the reference point that it would then move around to. So let's go ahead and green check and we've moved it over to here. Well, now I don't want to move it there. Let me transform it again. If you know a specific dimension that you want to offset it from where it is, you can just grab this manipulator, move it up or down and put a specific dimension in or just have it snap to something else. I'm just going to put zero. Again, I can do that in this direction again as well. Type in a zero or just have it based on I or some other reference point. Now, this allows you to rotate the part about this pivot point that you see here. Again, you can put it in an angle or you can just do it by your look, but I'm gonna go back to zero to get me back to it. But maybe I don't wanna rotate about this corner. Maybe I wanna snap to this and rotate about this point, or maybe it's this point right here. You can choose what your reference point is. So maybe I want it to be right here, which is the center point where these lines crisscross. And now when I rotate it, maybe I wanna rotate it 60 degrees from here in this orientation. And there you go, I've rotated it 60 degrees about this center of the point here. The bottom line is, is that when you highlight this and use the transform function, it brings up a manipulator that you can choose how and where you want it to be and where it's snapping to and how you choose to move it as such.